and welcome into what the music. Uh, what a special treat do I have for you to start off 2021. Um, I am with Chris and Dexy Valentine. They are part of the Magic Wands, and you can find them at magicwandsband.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh, coming on to the show as uh, we are going to talk about your album, Illuminate, which is available everywhere. Which, by the way, your fourth album, congratulations. You know what's crazy is um, your first single off this album is Blue Cherry, and it's a very futuristic song. And I wondered, why would you put that song first on the album? Um, Because we finished it first. Wait, was that, was that, is that the, (laughs) don't know. We just kind of finished it first, I think. We liked, we liked how it turned out. So we thought this should be the single, the first one, but it wasn't like, we didn't have the whole record done yet, so that was kind of like. Yeah, I mean, I would have liked there to be more, have been more songs like that, because it's kind of a standout track. It just doesn't really sound like anything else on the record, and it's got, it's, it's just more stripped down and electronic sounding. I think than most of the songs. You you say that your inspiration for this album lies in introspection, escapism, fantasy, love, and dreamscape scenarios. Right. That is, that is, uh, it, and it, and it does come through <clears throat> through your music. But how do you get to that conscious level of putting all those themes together? Is that something that you guys just kind of live by in general? We don't really like, you know, we try to like not engage in reality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a way to put it. Uh, so, you know, and we wanted the record. We wanted all the records that we do to kind of reflect that. So I would say, like, we kind of do that naturally. And, you know, we prefer to, like, go in that direction just in general because it has a, I don't know, I want the the music to, like, go somewhere else and, like, feel like you're somewhere else. I I don't want to feel like I'm just singing about, like, my life, like, going out into the world, cold, cruel world. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I mean... You know, fantasy, fantasy land. Fantasy, it's more fun. How do you keep this sound from like not sounding like like a throwback or like anything retro? Like, what what do you do? Do you, are you cognizant of that? You know, and say, oh my god, this kind of sounds a little like this. I got to change it, or is is it all just kind of organic? I think when we do do some, when we when we start to say feel like something sounds too eighties or two nineties, then we will actually consciously try to fix that. So it doesn't (laughs) definitely don't want it to sound like throwback. We want it to be kind of like everything we're inspired by from those times, but, but new, you know, and now I guess. Yeah. I don't think we do anything. I think we just like have figured out what sounds that we like in for every instrument, you know? So you know, like we know, like this is what we like our drum beat to sound like, and this is what we like for like how the how a bass sh- should sound and stuff. And so we kind of just do that, and then when it all comes together, it, it doesn't usually just sound like because we don't really like. It's not like we consciously pull from any one thing, but you know, when it all goes together, it doesn't like sound. You know, just like an '80s song, although we might have. You know, we'll use keyboards and stuff from the 80s, you know, and they'll have those sounds. But, you know, we use a lot of effects and... Yeah, we try to, like, you know, if we take a sound off a keyboard, we put 10 different effects on it to give it its own sound. Yeah, so it's not just, like, a straight signal. You're not just getting, uh, you you know, uh, (laughs) since (laughs) sound 04, you know, it's got some stuff on it. Right, right. Well, it, it definitely uh, comes out very well in this album, the fourth album uh, by the band Magic Wands Illuminate. Go check it out. It is available everywhere. And again, uh, make sure to go and catch them on their website, which you could find many a plethora of different streams and a different ways to connect with the band. And right now is definitely a time 
that bands need to connect with other people. So go ahead and check them out, magicwandsband.com. And uh, we are now going to leave you with uh, the song Angel Dust. And I saw the video, by the way. Um, uh, <laughs> you know, side note, I saw the video. Very cool. Um, was it hard to make the video footage look old or did you really have that kind of setup that you guys were recording on that none of that was us that video and um the crew that did that did a great job um brayden directed them. our friend brayden yeah. helped us put that together they shot a lot of that uh when we weren't even there so like you know we just kind of showed up and did our parts and uh most of the video though brayden did most of the work on. We were really happy. I mean, we gave him a few <coughs> tips and stuff, like yeah, know, maybe take this out or put this in. But generally, like he kind of listened to the song and captured kind of what we. Yeah, I love the anyway. colors. I like the underwater shots a lot. And we don't like stuff real realistic, yeah. too. In general, we like stuff kind of like hazy and you know low quality. <laughs> <laughs> And we get a lot of comments from. Well, like, that that's like our, our highest quality video, but we yeah, asked them to degrade it a little bit, so you know it had, so it wasn't too clean, you know. Yeah. yeah, we'll get emails for stuff. They'll say, "Send us a picture," and they'll send them a picture, and you're like, "Do you have this like in high resolution?" resolution. <laughs> it's like, no, we don't. Like, this isn't even like a regular resolution. This is like, uh, like what? It's like a GIF. I, I like, you know, I like, I like Polaroids. That's what I've been using since I was in eighth grade. And I like to take a Polaroid and then take a picture of the Polaroid and then add things to that, you know. Yeah, stuff looks better. I mean, that, that goes back to the fantasy, magic, love and dreams world. It's not, yeah. it's not crystal clear. It's a little hazy. It's like going, it's like listening to the beach, you know. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's a little, you know, yeah. Yeah, the same with the music. You know, we just don't want it super slick and clean and polished sounding because it's just. That was our problem. It it's not yeah. reflective, you know, of me even. I'm not, you know, don't have perfectly manicured nails or hair. So it's like, why should my music be, sound like that? You know? <laughs> <laughs> definitely. And it definitely does uh, sound great on the album so uh go check them out the album again is illuminate and it is available everywhere and uh my guests of course have been chris and dexy uh, from the band magic wands thank you so much thank you thank you, thank you for having us and we're going to leave you now with the